Thank you very much for having this special opportunity to interview today. Um, and uh, first of all, my best congratulations for this uh, scientific achievement in sequencing the camel genome. I'm sure you can um, share a lot about the camel genome project. And um, please allow me with my first question. What is uh, this camel genome project about? Well, if you allow me, uh, thank you. Uh, well, the Camel Genome Project is an initiative by uh, uh, King Abdelaziz City for Science and Technology here in Saudi Arabia, and it's a collaborative project with the uh, BGI at uh, uh, China uh, to sequence the whole entire genome of the camel. And this is specified for the Arabian camel genome, and this will help, in fact, to decode the camel genome and to understand all of the uh, genetic background of mm. the camels. Yes, uh, we are part. We are so grateful to become a partner of the the camel genome. We did our part of contribution, mm. so it's all a great pleasure mm. to do this project yeah. together with the uh, cast. <clears throat> and coming um, to the object of interest, the camel. Why did you choose? to concentrate and focus your scientific efforts on the camel? Well, from my own opinion, we, there are two sides of this uh, uh, selection. First, camels are very important in the Arabic, uh, Arabian regions, and it's actually uh, founded here in the region thousands of years ago, and people here, uh, they actually, they like the camel meat, they drink the camel uh, uh, milk and the camels are used also for uh, some kind of racing and uh, some uh, uh, important mm. activities here in uh, our country. It's one of the important mammalians which is founded here in the area and that's why it was selected by strategic plans of uh, CAGS and Ministry of Agriculture to invest more in camels, uh, how we actually breed camels and how can we study the camel mm. uh, uh, the, orders and to improve the quality of uh, camel meat and milk. And this one side. And the other side which actually uh, uh, attract uh, our colleagues at BGI, that the camel are one of the stressed animals, especially in the desert. And uh, knowing the genetic background of the stressed animals uh, has very high impact in the scientific mm -hmm. uh, information. Am I right? Yes. We sequence the, the, the Janda panda. Mm -hmm. Janda panda is a very important animal in China. Mm -hmm. I think the camel is as, as, as the panda yeah. in China. So that's why we would like to, to join this project. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and what are the results of um, your project? So we sequence the, the, the whole genome mm -hmm. and uh, assembling this genome uh, in the genome sequence. And I think that the quality of the, the assembling, the sequence assembling, the mapping is even better than, than the, the mm -hmm. gender panda. Mm -hmm. And the, the genome size is 2.2 mm -hmm. uh, gigabits. And uh, we found a uh, 23,000 genes mm. in the uh, camel genome, yeah. which is important in, to understand why the camel is the camel. Mm -hmm. What's the difference with the, the panda and with other animals? Mm. And uh, in addition to that, we also found that there are uh, very low percentage of genes which are not aligned with any sequenced uh, other organisms. So we, we found that about 99% mm. of the genes are uh, unique in the mm. camels. We also uh, tried to find out what are the similarities between camels, humans, and camels, mm. and other uh, cattle, and other uh, mm. mammalians. And all of these data were actually uh, listed, and now it's under um, re-evaluation and more uh, studying to find out what are the uh, best stories for uh, the camel mm. and why camel is 
different than other mammalians and in the desert. And now as we have the full understanding of the genome structure and its components, how would you evaluate the significance of these results for BGI in China and for CAC in Saudi Arabia? Mm -hmm. well, <clears throat> the animal, all the animals are different. And people cannot answer the question why, how. And we found that the camel is most close to the cattle. Mm -hmm. That's right. And and they're still there, as uh, Adobe, Adobe said, there's 90% of sequences are different. Mm -hmm. So we are going to focus on uh, fusing the single chain uh, antibody, why they, they produce single chain antibody, mm -hmm. the heat shock protein, why the animal can, uh, the cattle can stand, and even the, the, yeah, the, the heat, the, the heat uh, the 60% or uh, 60 degree centigrade, uh -huh. and they still can survive, and well, cannot. Mm -hmm. So those genes and those uh, physical uh, futures and present, there, there's something mm -hmm. important there. Probably the, those genes will be very useful, and uh, mm -hmm. not only for the cattle, properly mm -hmm. for many things. And what I can add to this that uh, when we started our research in the camels about uh, uh, four years ago, we found that we cannot use any of the cutting edge technologies in the biotechnology. We cannot use the proteomics, genomics, metabolomics, and all of the other omics applications just because we don't have the enough background and enough uh, information of the genetics of the, the camel. So having all of this information now in our database, this will help actually and will uh, give very strong information, base information for researchers, scientists worldwide to use this platform of information mm. and to apply it in different uh, genomics, metabolomics and other mm. cutting edge technologies and it will be applied in the camel in particular. And this will help a lot actually to reach our achievements and our prototypes mm. and products in the mm. camel research activities. And how could humans, how could the mankind uh, actually benefit from uh, those results? 